as you can see right here, he just completely bails on the route. And it's just a very easy one play touchdown against just about every defense if you get this timing correctly. Any zone coverage that's basically looking back at the quarterback like this can be pump faked out of his shoes to the point where he basically just drops down and covers nothing. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. That's right, we're back in Madden. I'm going to show you guys a game-breaking new glitch that some people are using. I mean, it's kind of getting around the community to the point where I want to show you guys uh, how to use it yourself. Just in case you run into somebody online that's using it against you, you might as well use it back. But to be fair, I don't condone using stuff like this. I don't typically look for stuff like this. You never see me creating stuff like this. I feel like I just create well-designed blitzes and well-designed uh, pass play concepts and stuff like that. That's typically what I feel like I do. Stuff like this to me crosses the line a little bit where it kind of breaks the game. Um, although realistically, the game is acting how it's supposed to act. If you guys remember coming into this year with the new engine and the new games, college football specifically uh, mentioned how um, pump faking was going to actually do something. In the past, pump faking was just like maybe for a user. But they said this year, uh, like I said, I don't remember in Madden if they said this, but I know in college football they said that pump faking can move defenders. And I'm going to show you guys a pump fake glitch today that works a little bit too well. So, you know, to me, this is something that another purpose for me putting this video out is to put a little bit of pressure on EA to say hey patch your game because this doesn't actually work in college football by the way in the game that they mentioned where pump faking uh was gonna i mean it might maybe i just didn't do it right when i tested it i'll try testing it again later in the video but i don't think this works very well in college football that game to me is just a little bit more polished and you can also tell the ea is also putting a little bit more time into college football than they are madden because even when you had things like the, the custom stem glitch the speed boost glitch that was in both games but for whatever reason, they patched it in college football like a week ahead of patching it in Madden. That's just kind of like the consistent theme here. Madden's kind of behind when it comes to updates. But like I said, I'll put a little pressure on EA uh, by making this video, uh, you know, just putting this video out and letting people know that, hey, this is out there and it has to be fixed. But like I said, try if you're going to use this yourself, try to use it against a computer. Don't go online and spam this against people. Either way, though, I'm going to show you how to stop it, too. So if that's what, uh, if you run into somebody that does do this to you, I will show you how to stop it. But to, to run this play, it's really simple. It's going to be best to have a spread along because it'll work better when your receivers are to the boundary compared to something like if the if the receivers are in too close it's not going to work nearly as good because um, you want to spread this out because it's going to be best if you stretch the field so I'm going to pick the spread double flex here just some random formation I'm also going to pick the four verticals and once again there is no specific play to do this you only really need to put a receiver on a streak so actually I'll choose the vert comebacks just to show you guys that you have to put somebody on a streak cover three is probably the most popular so let's go and let's pick that and before I get into this video as always if you guys want to see more man videos because you know last week i don't think i put out a single man video i think i put out only college videos because like i said in my opinion college is just a better game right now based on the fact that it's just getting more support from ea and more updates and more patches and just more they're just putting more time into it than they are putting it in madden so if you guys want to see me continue to do madden videos please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section like really let me know in the comment section really hit the like button because like i said if not i'm gonna be going back to college i like college better anyway and if you need more help, more money plays, I got three ebooks out for Madden, Kansas City Chiefs, Raiders, and Chiefs defense once again. Just click links in the description or the top pinned comment to download them instantly. Now, as far as this glitch is concerned, it's really, I want to say it's easy to do, but it's really not. Typically, when you pump fake, you just hit the button like really quick, and then you get that kind of look there, and you can see nothing really happened. That's your typical pump fake. But for some reason, if you hold the the pump fake longer, if you if you if you basically uh, just do a pump fake a little bit slower, where you see right there, we get the whole we get like the pump fake action where he goes through like the full motion before I cancel it. I'll go ahead and I'll go to the replay. It didn't even really work there, but that was my first attempt. Like I said, it's not the easiest to do. If you master it, it's not too difficult, but you can see the difference here when this guy pump fakes, where he holds that ball all the way through. That's just, that's like a real pump fake to the point where he brings it back. You're going to want it to be a little bit closer to that. And all you have to do is time the pump fake accurately enough. And you can see how the cover three cornerback completely bails for like an invisible underneath route. Maybe he thinks it's a comeback route, but you can see on the replay here, that I pump fake to the left once and he didn't bite. As you can see here, the cornerback even stopped for half a second here and kind of bit down even though it wasn't in his direction. But then I pump fake to the other side and he did bite. As you can see right here, he just completely bails on the route and it's just a very easy one play touchdown against just about every defense if you get this timing correctly. So this is clearly something, if you want to be doing this, this is clearly something you're going to want to work on. And it does, it really appears to be uh, based off of where the cornerback is on the field. Because on that last play, I double pumped to the B side twice. 
and you can see how he didn't buy he didn't bite he didn't wholesale the first time as you can see when i pump fake that first time you see he gets choppy he stops like he's waiting to see if a route gets thrown and it doesn't but he doesn't bite on it like he does the second pump fake when he's deeper the second pump fake you can see he just completely bails on the receiver but i would say the receiver probably has to be a good 20 yards down the field as you can see right there the pump fake gets the cornerback it's not too difficult to do if you practice it a little bit uh, I would say, I've, honestly, based on the fact that the cornerback or the receiver and the cornerback have to get a certain distance down the field, that might be the natural counter is the pass rush. Now, I'm going to pick that same play again, but cover three is not the only defense that's susceptible to this. As you're going to see, other defenses like Tampa 2, uh, the cover two man, the safeties can get pump faked the exact same way. So if I want to hit the... Um, the wide, the wide receiver, as you can see, he's kind of running like a crossing pattern. I don't know if you saw that, though. The safety did drop down. I, I, if I'd have put him on a streak, it would have been a lot easier. But I did pump fake this ex this safety the same way as the cornerback. As you can see right here, this safety is supposed to drop back. I hit him with that little pump fake. He gets overly aggressive, and he just drops down. So if I had that receiver on an easy streak, it would be an easy touchdown against this defense as well. So you can see right here, not all man coverage is safe as we as we put that wide receiver on a streak. You can see how the safety drops down. I feel like the reason this works is because any defender that's looking back at the quarterback like this, the same thing that's working with those cover three cornerbacks. Zone coverages typically do this, where matching cover fours don't. They typically run with the receiver. But you can see any guy, any zone coverage that's basically looking back at the quarterback like this can be pump faked out of his shoes to the point where he basically just drops down and covers nothing. So like I said, if somebody's doing this to you, the best counters are still going to be man coverage it just won't be man cover two i would say a man zero blitz or maybe a man cover one robber where you're basically going to be using the deep safety are going to be some pretty good options so that there is no real issue there but obviously if your opponent can pump fake you out of coverages like uh, zone coverage entirely then they can hit you with man beaters but i did notice that cover four match didn't have that effect so i'm guessing cover three match won't have that effect either so it's going to pick that and you can see how matching zones don't have that effect based off the fact that they're not looking back at the quarterback. They're not seeing the pump fake. They're, they're looking at the receiver. They're running stride for stride with the receiver. But based on the fact that he's not looking back at the quarterback anymore, if I go back at this certain angle here and show it, you can see the pump fake. He doesn't see the pump fake because he's not really paying attention to the quarterback. So that's really the key. You can pump fake guys looking at the quarterback, but you can't pump fake guys that are either man coverage or man matching, which is essentially what matching cover three is. So basically what I notice when it comes to what plays to call and what plays not to call when your opponent is doing this, uh, a good zero blitz is a good call because once again, none of the man coverage defenders can get pump faked and you're probably going to get a sack before they even get down the field anyway. So if you want to hide your, co your coverage in like a coverage shell so that they think you're still in like a, a zone coverage and then you send an all out blitz, that's probably going to be a good look. Um, so I would say, like I said, if they're beating you in cover three, switch to a cover three coverage shell and send the house in an in a, in overload blitz. Nothing will get open, especially if they're doing it like I just showed where they're just sending all streaks, which most people won't do. Most people have a check down, like a man check down if they're smart, but this is one good option. I would say cover one hole using the safety, also a decent option, but realistically, I like to use zone coverages and I don't want somebody to get me out of it. So the best zone coverages to use that are still going to work are going to be things like uh, cover three or like cover three match specifically uh, because they are staring at the receiver. They're not staring at the quarterback, so they're not going to get pump fake glitched. You also got matching coverages like cover four quarters, which is not a great coverage based off the fact that, you know, that can get glitched out a lot of other ways. There's, there's, glitch, there's ways to glitch that cover three match as well. But I would say the best defenses to use in this situation are probably going to be like split zone coverages like matching cover six, matching cover nine, uh, cover three cloud. I noticed it doesn't really have that effect against cover three cloud, even though it's not a matching cover three. I'll go and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We're going to put Y on a streak because I feel like I might be able to pump fake um, the A receiver here, but no, he just gets open. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't the pump fake. You know what I mean? That was the cover two side. So that had nothing to do with the pump fake. But like I said, the cover three side is on this side here, and you can see the cornerback didn't bite. And it's not because I don't know. If, typically, when you have like these split zone coverages, a lot of times like the entire uh, back half is communicating in the programming that we just don't know about, and they're communicating with how to pass off receivers and stuff like that. So even though he's looking back at the quarterback and he's, he's an outside third, he should get burnt by this glitch. I pump fake twice and it didn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see more Madden stuff, make sure to hit the like button because then I, I could probably put out a Madden video again later this week because I have a couple of videos planned, but I have to 
to you know make sure that they actually do well they have to perform well for me to actually make videos about men and lately men videos for me aren't performing as well as college it's really that simple so if you guys want to see more videos i made about some glitchy stuff and man i'll have that pop it up on screen as well and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below